Okay, Terry. Figured we'd go ahead and do a uh, before and after on this one. I didn't think about it whenever I started on the other one. So I'm going to do a before and an after. That way you can kind of see what the difference is. Alright, so I'm going to go over here. Some of these cables here out of the way. Alright, so where I'm setting at right now is I'm on the 2000, uh, 2000 kilohertz frequency range. So let me get this up here where you can see a little bit better. Alright, so we're going to inject a signal <coughs> into the mic gain. Uh, we're currently set at 2000 kilohertz. So that's 280 kilohertz of frequency that we're going to be setting. One volt peak to peak, which is what we're going to be using. Alright, so we're going to start at the 286 kilohertz, which is the lower end frequency of the radio itself on the uh, modulation. So where you're going to really see a difference at on this, Is right here on the center meter. Take some of the glare off. All right, so we've got a 25 watt slug in here in one X position. So we're going to be reading our top scale. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the modulation on. Okay, you're going to see approximately 21 watts PEP. And watch what happens. Once I hit right there, okay, you're going to see that cutoff right there. All right, that's where you're going to see your major cutoff. Which is at uh, 40, roughly 42 kilohertz. So once you hit uh, 40, 45, um, and then that's your modulation, you know, which that's where you're losing at. So that's what we wanted to kind of show you is that you don't really have a whole lot there once you hit that particular frequency range. Uh, we're going to go back up here. We're going to do 1000 kilohertz. And that's what our modulation looks like right there. So you're right there on the verge. Uh, there again, it's trying to flat top. But uh, we'll take care of that whenever we get into it. Here to the spectrum analyzer. We're going to be using the same settings as we did on your Cobra 29. I'm going to take it off the stand for this. My cable is very, very short. So, pretty clean on the spectrum analyzer as far as on the overall. Can't really complain a whole lot. Um, so that part's pretty good. Like I said, you're right on the verge of over-modulating where we're currently at. But our big thing is that low-end frequency response. So that's what we're going to do is take a look at that. We'll open it up, make the same type of modifications to this as what we did to 29, and then uh, revisit the video here in a minute and finish this up for you. Alright Steve, we get your Cobra 148 done here, as you can not see, let's go over here, alright so, we'll go through here real quick again like we did, um, there's not as many parts to change out on the 148s, so there's not, uh, you know, not as many key components that goes from you know point A to point B but uh, we went ahead and changed out the parts as you can see here um, this cap here this is actually a power cap uh, I did go ahead and pull that out and replace it with a 3300 and the reason why is this particular capacitor where it's located in, in the circuit actually feeds your audio chip so I wanted to make sure that there wasn't a deviation in the voltage in order to go ahead and, and maintain the audio level 
um, associated with what you're asking for. So uh, that got got replaced. You know, there's only about uh, four caps in the primary circuit here, so that's already been changed. Uh, there's one resistor that's been taken out and changed to a different value. Uh, what's nice about this one is they did not cut the limiters, so that was actually kind of nice. So we went ahead and also tied up uh, these wires. Um, you know, whoever had originally put your variable power in, uh, they cut the wires, but they didn't bother to put back any zip ties, so the wires were kind of frayed out. So we went and put those back the way they should have been on that part of it. Uh, retuned your input. <coughs> excuse me. Retuned the input on the uh, modulation portion of it, so you're good to go there. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and do a test. We've already done the uh, uh, pre-test and showed you what it was doing prior to the modifications. Now this one is going to act a little different than some of the other radios. Just for example, uh, Cobra 25. Um, the circuit's similar, but it's considerably different at the same token. So with that in mind, okay, we're going to go up here and we're going to start. showing you where we're at here. We can get our camera hold, and hold stable here for just a second. Yeah, I'm on. Alright, so um, this thing dropped out right exactly at 40 Hertz. I mean we had almost no modulation, no power. Um, 20, we still have that. That's what I wanted to show you. You know, we're still at 20. Uh, we're down here at 20 Hertz here. Uh, standard one volt peak to peak on a reading. So, what I'm actually going to do is we're going to actually move this up to about 180, 190. Yeah, let's go 190. Because I know I don't get too flaky at that point. <coughs> so, we're going to go ahead and induce modulation into the radio. show you here on the oscilloscope. You're going to see a huge change here on the oscilloscope. So we can brighten the waveform up just a little bit for you. Um, like I said, you're going to see a huge difference. So like I said, you've got a lot more modulation down here at the lower scale. Now if we go up here to a thousand hertz tone, which is what your radio is designed, or theoretically we're supposed to set this at, you know, you're right there on the verge of flat topping, however, you'll back your mic gain off just a little bit if you want that super clean audio. You can actually back your audio down just a little bit. So, it's entirely up to you as far as how hard you push it, but you're going to have a real good peak to peak on this. I'm going to give the radio just a small brief rest. Then we're going to go over here. We're going to look at the spectrum analyzer. And then I'm going to come back, and then we're actually going to show you as far as on the frequency change. Like I said, right now we're at 1,000 kilohertz. So we're going to show you our power level at 1,000 kilohertz. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to pan back um, whenever I hit the low end frequency of your radio. So our center scale. Excuse me, our center bird meter over here is what we're looking at. Take that glare off. Alright, so 25 watt scale in one X position. And we are running in peak mode. So we're going to go ahead and add a modulation. That's currently at a thousand hertz tone. You're going to see uh, approximately 18 watts PEP uh, at 1,000 tone. Now you're going to notice deviation and a drop, which is normal. So let's go ahead and go down here. Readjust my scale. Okay. So, 
All right, so right now we are set at 170 on the uh, hertz, and I did forget about the spectrum analyzer, but we'll show that here in just a minute. All right, so right now we're at 108. You know, start seeing dropping, but we're at 80, which is where we originally had our first drop. Now we're down to 54, 47. Like I said, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it still drop, just ever so slightly. Okay, now we're at 33, and we're still making modulated power. 28, 20, and at 12, we've lost all all power. So that's where we want to see it. All right, so let's go up here. That's where we stopped at. So we're going to bring this back up here. Induce a thousand kilohertz tone. tone. So it's kind of touchy. So, all right. So approximately one thousand kilohertz tone. We'll go ahead and add our signal. What it looks like here on a signal generator, or excuse me, on our uh, spectrum analyzer signal generator. Uh, too many pieces of equipment going through my brain today. So super, super, super clean. And now let's do one more thing because all the pieces of equipment in the world. is still not the same as the human voice. So we're going to plug in our external microphone here. Let's see if we can get this in here. I don't know if the camera will get the radio in here at the same time or not. It looks like not. So we're going to look at our thousand, or excuse me, our 25 watt slug here in one exposition using our stock hand mic. Hello, check one two one two audio audio audio. Hello audio. Now we're going to do do just a small whisper. Hello radio check check audio. And that is with your mic gain set. 11. Let's go about 75% uh, open on the uh, mic gain. Hello, audio check, check, audio. Testing, one, two. <clears throat> Testing, one, two, one, two, audio check, one, two. So, even just whispering into it, you know, you're going to get about a 15 watt uh, PEP. Uh, just standard talking, you're going to see, you know, good forward modulation. I'm going to go over here to the average side. Hello, check. One, two, one, two, audio. Radio check, audio. So about seven watts RMS, and that is with approximately a one and a half watt dead key. So, all right. But, uh, yeah, you know, like I said, we didn't do any of the other modifications as far as to the uh, power. Um, like I said, the only thing we did was we changed out one cap for the stabilization for your. Uh, audio chip to go ahead and uh, make sure that everything was sta stays uh, good and stable there and yeah I think you're ready to go all we got to do now is take your radio get the covers put back on it and then I'll get these all wrapped up by the way I want to give you a big thumbs up for actually having these wrapped really good whenever they got here uh, that's something that I don't get very often from people um, as far as that goes and it's very very important in my opinion to have things properly packed uh, wow. this one was definitely you know good job and kudos to you uh, I've had people put a radio in a box a uh, rather large box and only put uh, uh, one piece of newspaper in it that didn't even <laughs> didn't even cover the radio so um, 
yeah, I, I just can't say that to stay or, or stress that enough. Uh, because some of this stuff sets here, guys, as much as a month before I actually open up the boxes. Uh, in some cases, up to two months before I actually open up the boxes. Uh, some of it goes directly onto the shelf at that time. And some of it gets brought into uh, from the storage that I have in the house. Because I've actually got one room in the house that we use for storage. Uh, because of the fact that we just don't have enough in the shop. So, whenever those come down... You know that's whenever I find out whether or not there's been any damage or anything done to the radio so guys just remember it is very important that you pack your stuff right before you send it out all right everybody I appreciate it thanks for watching hopefully that gives everybody a little bit of insight as far as on uh, some of the different modifications and uh, yeah and uh, what we can do right. uh, if you would Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. We'd greatly appreciate it. We'd love to see you on the next video. Thanks again, guys.